Hi everyone! Welcome to my living room. Uh, we are going to be working on our stretching and I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through a little routine that would be helpful to um, practice before you do any move and groove exercises, uh, adaptive PE exercises, or just any general physical activity. Um, it's really important that we warm up our body, wake up our muscles, and kind of uh, get in the mindset of being present and really giving it our all before we start our exercises. So stretching is a great way to do that. Um, we're going to work on kind of a full body stretch. So uh, we're going to start in the standing position and then um, we will move to the floor. Um, so at that point, feel free to grab a chair if that's helpful for you, grab a stool, um, or again, just participate alongside with me. Um, before we get started though, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that you are the experts of your own body. So um, this is not intended to feel like when you are at a stretch that it's gonna be painful. Um, if that is the case, then pull back because we're really just trying to get a nice, light, gentle stretch in. Uh, we don't want to have any injuries or we don't want our muscles to feel sore afterwards because we still have our fitness activity to do. So um, follow along and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So uh, first things first, let's start with a nice neck roll. So just really slow and gentle kind of go full circle. So left ear to left shoulder. backyard all weekend so I'm really sore so this is really really nice feels great back to the shoulder shrugs and let's do one more perfect and we're gonna reverse because it's really important what you do in one direction or on one side you always do need to do the opposite direction or the opposite side so again bringing those shoulders forward like a like you're hunching Great job. 
couple more. All right, I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see. But we're just gonna do a forward fold, and it's okay if we don't touch the ground. Um, we're really just trying to stretch out our back muscles and kind of the backs of our legs, so go as far as you can, but again, this should not be painful, so uh, really pay attention and listen to what your body's telling you today. So we're going to bend at the waist, hunch over, and just kind of hang for a second, and then bring it up nice and slow. Let's see how slow can you go. Shoulder shirts up. Last to come up is your head. Wonderful. Let's do two more of those. So bend over at the waist. Touch. Full body stretch. And last one. Maybe stay here for just a little bit longer. Take a deep breath in, raise those arms up, reach up as high as you can, see if you can touch the ceiling or the sky if you're outside, wiggle those fingers, and then maybe do a nice side bend. Oh, that feels wonderful. A couple on each side. on the ground. Feel free to grab um, a chair um, or you can also just join me on the floor and we will get into our lower body stretches. So I should probably bring this down just a hair. There we go. All right everyone. Thanks for uh, meeting me down on the floor. Um, before we get started, let's take a moment to work on our wrists. So again, we're just going to do wrist circles. And reverse. Now, clasp your fingers together and we're gonna do a roller coaster roll. We're the wave. Really get those elbows into it. Move those wrists. Might feel kind of weird. Perfect. And then stop. Come back to neutral or center. And we're going to do figure eights. So you're just going to go and draw kind of like a sideways eight or pretend like you're paddling. So down and down and down and down. Really get those going. Perfect. I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see. We're gonna take one hand, push it out. We're gonna grab the tips of our fingers, kind of like what we do in our fitness classes and Zumba, the very end, and just kind of gently bring them to see how far full, how far back you can really uh, stretch. You should feel it in your wrist right here, but again, you don't want it to, to hurt. So just do what you feel is comfortable. One, and flip it, and then do it the opposite. So now you should really feel the stretch right through there. Great job. And let's do the other side. So fingers up. And then flip it up, down. Yeah, that feels wonderful. Nice job. All right, from here, we're going to also do a nice little stretch. So right arm comes forward across your body. Your left arm is going to go underneath, and you're going to just pull your arm in. 
Be mindful not to try to get your shoulders up. You really want to just kind of relax and have it just come across the, your body. And release. Left arm comes up. Cross your body. Right hand goes underneath. Touches your elbow and kind of gives yourself a nice big squeeze. Perfect. From here, we're going to sit crisscross. Whichever leg you want closest to you is fine. Um, and we're going to start with our right hand, cross it across to have it touch on our left knee. We're going to take our left hand and reach up. And from here, you're just going to look up. opposite side so left hand to right knee right hand comes up and gaze up to your fingertips perfect Bring it up. all right so we're gonna come down and do a figure four so we're going to have our right leg out straight, bend our left leg, bring it in as close as you possibly can. And from here, we are going to activate our toes. So um, have your toes pointing straight up, not out. And the goal here is to kind of just do a nice stretch through the entire leg. Um, it's not necessarily, again, to touch your toes. If you're really flexible, then uh, by all means, you are able to do that. Um, I am not, so um, if you also need a little bit more of a modification, if that uh, straight leg is too uh, much of a stretch for you, feel free to bend your uh, knee and then reach forward. Um, so kind of just listen to your body and where you're feeling most comfortable at today. So. Um, we're going to shift our core and we're going to try to just lean forward and keeping that bend at the hip and not in your back. So when you're ready, just uh, forward fold down and we'll hold it for just a little bit. Very gently come on up. From here, we're going to take our left leg and send it out straight. We're gonna bend our right leg and have it come up and over. And then we're just gonna give ourselves a nice big squeeze. You'll be able to feel this stretch kind of in your glute, um, kind of alongside um, your outer thigh. So. Again, just kind of paying attention to your body, listening to what it's telling you today. If you want to take it a little bit further into a little bit more of a deeper stretch, um, we are going to go into a spinal twist. So taking your right hand, we're going to reach behind us and we're going to follow along with our gaze so that way we're looking over our shoulder. Now keep in mind, if this is a good enough stretch for you, just your hands straight out and just looking over, by all means, do that. Um, but again, if you're a little bit more flexible or you're wanting more of a, a twist in your spine, take that hand right behind you, keeping that back nice and straight, and then again, keeping that gaze over your shoulder. And when you're ready, Release, and we're going to send our right leg out straight and bend, or keep our left leg out straight and bend our right knee. Um, because what we do on one side, again, we're gonna do on the opposite. So from here, activate your feet, keep those toys pointed nice and straight up. If possible, 
Um, and then sit nice and tall. I was just realizing I was kind of slouching. So again, working on our posture, sitting nice and tall. We're going to uh, take that um, forward fold. You may drop your head, relax your neck a little bit. Really breathe into the stretch. Awesome job, everyone. Super proud of you guys for taking time to listen to your body and stretch right now before you jump into uh, more of a physical exercise. So keep it up, you're doing a great job. From here, send both your legs out, nice and straight. And now we're going to point our toes. So just take that moment, point those toes and really reach forward. Awesome. From here, we're going to have our feet come together into a butterfly. And so um, don't worry about your feet not being super close to your body. It's really what's um, comfortable and how deep of a stretch that you want. So again, I'm going to keep my feet out a little bit um, and uh, go from there. And then what we're gonna do next is we're going to use our elbows and our arms to really press into our legs to kind of get them to go um, flat. Uh, that's the goal, again, but really it's just to get that nice little stretch. And so when I'm pressing into my legs, I'm also moving forward. So holding onto your ankles, really just jump into that stretch. Try not to butterfly right now. Um, we're really just trying to focus on getting that nice deep stretch. All right, when you're ready, Take your hands, help your knees come together. And we are finished. So uh, again, I thank you guys for joining me today in our full body stretch. I look forward to hearing about your fitness activities and uh, seeing you guys on the Google Classrooms and hearing about all of the different types of ways that you're staying active and healthy. Um, just as a reminder, it is super important to stretch before and after every single one of our physical activities. Um, again, really taking that time to warm up our body before we start our activity, right? So what we're doing today, right now. Um, again, and then at the end of our stretching, um, at the end when we complete our physical activities, Zumba classes, fitness classes, um, really taking a couple of minutes to do the cool down. So really having your, your heart rate come back down and uh, allowing your body to come back to baseline and to, to be able to rest and uh, before you continue on with your day. So um, just with everything too, again, a little reminder to drink water, stay hydrated and uh, keep moving during this time, you guys. So until next time. See ya.